in today's tutorial, we will dive deeper into the different line item types in Google Ad Manager. Sponsorship and standard are guaranteed line items, which means Google Ad Manager will always strive to meet the goal that you set if you choose either of these two line item types. For the remnant line item types or non-guaranteed line items, we have network, bulk, price priority, house, then we have AdSense and Ad Exchange on dynamic allocation. Notice these numbers after the line item types. That tells you the priority or the order in your ad stack. The lower the number, the higher the priority. So looking at this list, you will know that sponsorship will have the highest priority among them all with a priority number four. Using sponsorship will ask you to specify your start time, your end time, and the percentage of total impressions as your goal. If, for example, you have this 300 by 250 unit on your site and you created a sponsorship line item targeting it at 100% total impression goal, that means no other line items can serve on this ad unit except this sponsorship line item because you've set it with the highest priority and your goal is to get 100% of the total impressions. So normally publishers would use this if you have an exclusive deal with an advertiser. Let's say, let's pretend Amazon would like to monetize this ad unit on the site exclusively and they would like to buy all the ad requests for that ad unit. Then you have an option to set them up on sponsorship and set it to 100% goal targeting this ad unit. What about if you have multiple sponsorship line items targeting your unit? For example, you have another one targeting that and it's also on sponsorship. And let's say this is 100% and this right here is also 100%. And let's pretend there's another one also on sponsorship and you also set it to 100% targeting the same ad unit. And let's pretend it's the same exact targeting across the board, meaning same geo, same inventory, same device, same everything for these three. Now, although they're all on sponsorship line items and because they have the same priority, Google Ad Manager will divide that percentage out of the total. So this means 100 plus 100 and another 100 that gives you 300. What's next? This will be divided by the 300. Same with this and same with this, which means each of them will be getting 33.33% of the total ad requests for this ad unit. The CPM rate here is only for reporting purposes so that Google Ad Manager can calculate your estimated revenue based on the total number of impressions you served from this line item. Now let's talk about standard. Standard has three priorities or options here, high, normal, and low, with the priority numbers 6, 8, and 10. With standard line item, again, you are still required to specify your start time and specify your end time. Then, the difference against or versus sponsorship here is that you're going to specify quantity. In sponsorship, you specify your percentage goal. In standard, you are to specify your quantity goal. So let's say, for example, the goal is to deliver 50,000 impressions until the end of the month, October 31st. And again, the rate here is for reporting purposes only. This does not impact priority in the auction. You can use standard if, for example, you close a deal with an advertiser and they have a specific quantity goal. It can be impressions, clicks, or viewable impressions. So what Google Ad Manager will now do, because you have a standard line item type and you have a quantity goal and a specific end date. So you are expecting to deliver, let's say, 50,000 impressions by October 31st, and it will run for 10 days. So let's say you started on October 21st, and you're ending on the 31st. Again, if you remember, standard is a guaranteed line item type, which means Google Ad Manager will always strive to meet the goal within the specified period of time. If, for example, your satisfaction index or SI is low, meaning you are struggling to meet your delivery goal. Let's say, oh, it's almost October 31st and I'm not even there yet. I'm not even halfway yet of my goal. Then. Google Ad Manager will temporarily assign a higher CPM for that line item that you created to get it ahead of the competition because it needs to deliver 50,000 impressions by this date and this time. What about if your satisfaction index is up? 
meaning you are at a good pace, you are meeting the goal, and you are expected to complete the 50,000 or deliver 50,000 impressions by this day. If this line item doesn't need to deliver impressions right now because it's at a good pace of delivery, then what Google Ad Manager will do is assign it with a temporarily lower CPM in the auction to get it a little behind the competition and let the rest or the other line items serve that impression instead. So this behavior of Google Ad Manager of assigning a temporarily low or high CPM depending on the satisfaction index is called enhanced dynamic allocation. And it's something you cannot manually control because only Google Ad Manager can do that programmatically, do its own calculation depending on the pace of delivery and decide whether to increase or decrease the CPM rate or the priority of this line item. Now let's talk about network. Network, if you noticed, it's almost the same as sponsorship, but this is non-guaranteed. You also specify a percentage as your goal here and the rate for reporting purposes. And of course, your start time and your end time. So although network is also percentage-based, but because it's non-guaranteed, that means it can only deliver if, for example, this two line items are not going to deliver or they don't exist at all. There could be a lot of reasons. They are there, they exist, but they are targeting a different section of the inventory. While sponsorship, for example, is only set to 50% or 60% instead of 100%. So it really depends. Bottom line is, again, network can only serve if none of these two guaranteed line items are targeting the inventory or none of them is eligible to serve for a given ad request. Bulk line item. Bulk, you also specify your start time when you want this campaign to start and your end time. And this will remind you of standard because the goal here is also quantity. And again, the CPM rate for reporting purposes. But then again, bulk is non-guaranteed or a remnant line item type, which means it can only deliver if none of these higher priority line items are eligible to serve on a given ad request. Now, just in case you wonder why network has higher priority than bulk, it's actually because Google Ad Manager will first prioritize percentage-based line item types than the absolute line item types if in case they have overlapping targeting. So if in case they all target the same section of the inventory, then Bulk can only deliver if for some reason none of them can deliver or serve for that ad request. Now let's talk about price priority. Specify your start time and your end time. And here, it gives you the flexibility to set your impression cap, which means you can either say no impression cap, daily impression limit, or a lifetime impression limit. If you set a daily impression cap, that means if this line item was able to serve 10,000 impressions for a given day, for example, it will stop and will wait again for the following day to be eligible again to compete in the auction. And it's very important here for price priority line item that you specify the rate that reflects the most recent performance for that line item or that ad network. So if it performs at $2, then you put $2. Because in price priority, the higher this rate here, the higher the priority. And if you don't set your value CPM, Google Ad Manager will take the rate as the value to compete in the auction and at the same time serves as the basis in reporting. Let's pretend you have this 300 by 250 ad running on your site and you set up three price priority line items with overlapping targeting or overlapping inventory. So they're all targeting the same ad unit. But this price priority line item here, you set at $2 CPM rate. And when I say $2 CPM rate, the setting in here is what I'm talking about. And let's say, for example, the other line item, you set it to 150 and the other one is let's say one dollar so for a given ad request let's say they don't have impression caps nothing at all they all have the same settings except for their cpm rates the winner here will obviously be the two dollar line item and will serve the ad on your site adsense and ad exchange here will only appear on your list if you have already linked an adsense account or an ad exchange account with google ad manager I will have a more detailed discussion on that on another tutorial. But when you choose them, it's going to run on dynamic allocation, which means 
it will check the rates of the other line items targeting the ad unit. And if Ad Exchange or AdSense can pay the highest CPM bid, that's the only time it can serve the ad. Google Ad Manager pulls that information in real time. And that's the reason why you won't have any settings available in here that you can manually change. You don't have CPM. You only have your start time and your end time, and that's it. And lastly, the lowest priority line item in Google Ad Manager is house. This one, you can also set the start time and the end time, and it also has a percentage goal. But because it's priority 16, it has the lowest priority. Publishers would normally use house to prevent unfailed ad impressions. That means if none of these higher priority line items can serve the ad, then house will be called by Google Ad Manager to serve instead. So if, for example, you have some in-house products that you sell, or if you have another website or page on your site, you can set up a house line item for it so that instead of going unfilled, you can serve your in-house products or promote the other pages on your site instead.